this so I can see what I need up here. Cross number F, steering knuckle A. Number F, there you are. Ooh, what's that supposed to be? Ah, just front sway bar, not not B. Alright, we need the cap. A need two drive axles, tire rods, housing A. Go up here, take the from hub. In a tie rod, lower arm. Buy all this stuff. Already got lots of bushings. Who mm. needs that? Oh, I gotta put that on first. Dang it. Okay, rear link, wheel hub three, and they have two, well, a few options here, but this is for the cars that are front engine rear wheel drive, and this one is for the mid engine, rear engine rear wheel drive, like your Pagani's, uh, the imitation Corvette with the rear engine. That's how you can spot the difference. Same with that's what you know. That's what you need rear wheel hub B for, like the cars, like the Pagani's, the Lambos, stuff like that. I believe did I already buy those? No, I did not. I need some wheel hub bearings. Then we're gonna get our brake calipers, the cylinders that go inside the calipers. Alright, I have everything else I need for here. Go down here and we'll look at some brakes. Brake holders. We've got the carbon ceramic. Normally I either use these ones or these ones. Depending on what I'm building. Because it's not going to have a lot of power, we'll use these ones. Alright, back to the paint booth. Calipers, let's see. Where's the red? Eh, but we'll do them red anyway. There's a little trick I use on this to kind of help out when I'm painting. But because the calipers are all up front and I haven't reached the other part yet. Alright, now you see, I'll take the front spring, and what we'll do is we'll go to choose a color, and we've already, I've already chosen, oh, go back, I've already chosen gold, and what I'll do is I'll go like so. thing to use it on. Alright, these will work better. Sometimes I'll come down here and click right here, go over, and uh, actually I went the wrong way, that's why. Huh. Right, there we go. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Not quite the gold I'm looking for, so we'll pull the saturation back. Turn the brightness up, go down here. I'll bring this back just a bit. That looks pretty good. 
right there. Give it kind of a rich feel. Okay, now it looks more like gold. But here, the trick I normally will use is I'll go like this, and I always try to use this one. And that way what it does, it swaps the colors back and forth. It always keeps it kind of organized-ish. Makes it a little easier. Ah, I forget something. I'm going to buy some of these. Buy five. I shall buy six. I need one for this. Going with the fuel tanks. Fuel tanks, where are you? Ah, there you are. Oh, I already did that one. Still don't remember what that one was for. Oh, that's actually nice gold. It's one of the better ones I've done so far. I think we'll go red, because the car is red. And we'll change this. Make this all nice and gold looking. Alright, and normally with the front shock absorber A and the rear shock A, I will normally do them black. What do we got going on here? Can I change the color on this? No, of course not. I just screwed up my paint schemes. No, I'm not doing those red. Uh, these always will match with the rear cross member. Most of the time though for the secondary color, it's, I have more parts for that than I do the actual primary color. Normally. suspension arms and stuff that have to be made in. Well, they don't have to. I just like to make the car look nice. Because the spring and the arm are going to be both gold. Throw the red in there to separate the two colors. they put a Chevy pack in this. I'm a Chevy guy. Through and through. Paint all nice and gold. Another thing that I like to do is buy an obscene amount of bushings because you'll run through them faster than you can shake a stick in this game. It's weird actually. The most I can buy at one time is 50. I normally just buy 50. The regular bushings and the small bushings. assembling it. 
see like right now I wish it, what I could do is pause it and then or have it so next time you see me is the next time you see what I'm doing is I'm at the car starting to install it yeah that's gold all right that's nice gold like I said it's one of the best best gold colors I've done yet And this, you gave me the OHG supercharged, the V8 dual overhead cam supercharged, um, any of the V10 or V12s. I don't need to run back and forth and see what I need and what I don't need because I'm pretty, pretty, pretty much familiarized with them. Or I can build them just off the back of my, from memory. I've done enough of them. Alright, just gonna give it one last go to make sure everything is done. Looks like it. Two, 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 that, those two, those two. Alright, I think we're ready. Let's see what this looks like. I already got the tires and wheels done. Alright, time to put you up in the air. Did I do the fuel tank? Yes, I did. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, the exhaust. What do we need? Exhaust pipe V8B. And rear muffler 370Z. And we need the cats. This is the right one, right? Let's double check. VAP, yes. Many times I've gotten this one and this one right here. I've confused myself with those. It's kind of annoying, but it's also kind of funny at the same time. Alright, middle muffler, I need two of them. And we need the 370 rear muffler. I know you're in here somewhere. Just like the seats. There you are, right there. Perfect. What I'd like to do when I when I start putting this together is I do the exhaust first, and I do the fuel tank, and then I do the rear suspension, and yeah, build the rest from there. Nice chrome. Now there's no guarantees I'm going to be talking through every video, sometimes I just want just to do it, just to, you know. Alright, rear sway bar B. Not until I start getting more people watch my videos and I start doing live feeds and, or live chat or live streams and stuff and that way then we can all build the car together. And I do other ones like I like I do Grand Theft Auto. Um, I have an ATV game. I have a bunch of different ones. All right, shiny black. Go. Whoops. This for, for Sometimes it's nice to pay attention. I've done that one too. Put different colors. Well, put one of the ones that ain't painted on this.
I forgot to do something. Nope. Find the back out of this. Go over to the spring compressor. Put my front springs together. Second one. Oh, noisy. Guess I gotta grease it. Alright, time to finish putting this stuff together. Five axle. A brick discs. See, let's not just look like looks beautiful. But this is what I mean is see how it's 285, 285, 245, 245? That's the reason why I, I join the two pieces together the way I do. Now you can do it any which way you want, but that's just what works best for me. Put that bushing in. Ah, see, I did it again. Pay attention. Put the bushing in. Oh. I don't know why I just couldn't put the, color, the ones I painted up front. Why I have to do that back out or just choose it right off the hop. Yeah, make mistakes in here. Oh, put the cap on. Oh, this could be the reason why I can't put the axle in yet. Gotta put the bearing in. Now it's wheel and tire. Pretty wide tires. 285. Another tip and trick that I have here is when you go to put the bushings in, like me, I, like I said, I start at that corner and I work my way around. But what you could do to make sure that you end up back on this side is put the bushing in here then do this side what I like to do is I like to put the inner tie rod in even though I can't connect it to nothing right now and I just keep adding in the bushings what the alright we got a medium inner cooler huh. What about that guy? Alright, let's see. Medium intercool. Oh, there it is. I found you. I found you. Alright, let's put the shock in. All shiny. It was a spray bar link A. Or control arm, dust cover, wheel hub, the bearing, the dust cap. I'm trying to understand why they call it a hub cap, it's a dust cap, but it is what it is, I guess. What the? Ah, outer tire rod. Our game of sport tires. Ah, gotta go race. The knuckle on. Alright, I'll do it first this time so I don't forget about it. Put the shock in. Or the strut. 
lower control arm. Feel the, the wheel and hub, the hub assembly now. Caliper. All right, we're finished for that part. And maybe I could have made the wheels a little bit bigger. Could have did 30 on the rear. All right, looks all right. Let's see, the red and the gold really pop. Really makes it look nice. Alright, what do we need here? Don't need that yet. What the? Oops. I'll be okay tomorrow. There we go. Reservoir Bay. I need a rad too. Hmm. What about the ECU? Oh, I got one. Alright. I need that. That. Oh, no, I already have one of these. I actually got a bunch of them. I need to do this. I need to hit the paint shop with this. This. Alright. Where are you? There you are. I need four A's. Oops. We got some stuff. I need the air filter cover. And the air filter base. And the rag. Which I had a bunch of them earlier. I guess I must have used them all. Happens. I build lots of cars. And then, uh, I'm pretty sure I also need a windshield washer reservoir. And it should be good here. And I gotta go over to electronics, buy the ABS module and the pump. I need to buy the fuse box cover and the fuse box itself. Alright, to the paint shop, we go. And maybe we'll buy air filter too. The door is open. Yeah, so I've cussed, like, I've made my garage a little bit different. Kind of like this wallpapering, whatever this is, with the white walls and nice, shiny, clean floor. Makes it pop. Alright, we'll do you red. I'll do the clips and clip A's. I'll do them gold. Just to carry on with the red and gold theme. And then we'll do the fuse box red. Whoops. Because if you go to do the gold on the fuse box or the air filter, it'll turn out yellow. I'm pretty sure. Yes, my videos are long. I do not do the short videos where some people break it down in different sections of the vehicle to do. I don't. I do it all one shot. Yeah, see it makes it yellow. Kind of not really the color I'm going with here. So let's probably do it red. If any point in time you're ever doing this game and you built 
and you're making a white car I do not recommend doing these fuse boxes white because to see the fuses it is a pain caught myself doing that one a few times like yeesh so if the car is white I do them black or whatever the cross color is that I'm doing alright let's see we'll start here air filter base Ooh, that red looks real nice in the sunlight and we'll put the clip on the other clip Ooh. zooming in zooming out okay. looks nice Ooh, one left. The one I bought when I got the calipers. See what I mean? The silhouettes here. You do this in white, and it's going to be a real pain in the neck to see. Put the relays in. Some C's, some A's, some B's. And these are another thing too that I do like fuse type B I'll go to the electronic store there and I'll buy 50 of them at a shot like every one of these I'll buy 50 because you use so many of them this makes it easier when you're building ah missed one I'm only human I make mistakes I'm pretty sure I bought a few batteries the last car I did. I think I did. Yes, I did. Okay, perfect. Huh, I didn't need to buy any of them. I had lots. Coolant, what, coolant tank. Radiator. Have I got any of these? Oh, I do. Oh, I got a lot of them. Huh. Perfect. Now it's time to build the motor. Yep. Not bad. It's worth maybe five thousand. I don't understand how that seventy two thousand dollars is profit. So I put thirty four thousand dollars in parts into it. The body I'm not entirely sure, but I know I didn't put no fourteen thousand. And performance value, I did not put twenty-seven thousand dollars in so far. Hmm. All right. Anyway. Oh yes, that kind of car or that motor. ECU. Now by the heads. I can find them. Pretty sure they are right at the back. Oh, there's head A. And where's head B? Right there. You can always tell which one because they got those extended pieces on the end. And sometimes I paint the head, sometimes I don't. Exhaust manifolds, where are you? Oh, there they are. I believe there's only one. I can buy double. Buy the fuel filter. Alright, now I need the fuel rail. Well, oh, two of them actually. And buy six coils since it's six cylinder. Now the intake. Where's the intake? Intake. Huh. Oh, I missed it. Intake. Where's the intake B? 
Yeah, there it is right there. This is for the GTR 35. It's a nice car when it's done. Got one of them too. Six pistons. Uh, what fuel? Ah, I checked it too when it was on it. Before I pulled it. Six plugs. Throttle. Right there. I need two of them. Now if it was the GTR, I'd be putting two of these on. Really make a pop. Find some clutch plate, pressure plate, and the flywheel. I'm gonna go up here and buy the rest of the parts now. kind of weird though on how the same parts for this motor will also work in the one for the GTR. I'll buy my three caps, but where is the crank? There it is. I believe I need this pulley. I'll probably be wrong. By the block. Now the valve covers. A B. I already got the fuel tank, don't need that. I think I got enough pulleys. Well idler pulleys. Oil filter. Need to oil pan. Six rings. Now this is where it gets a little tricky for me because I can't remember. I'll just buy one of each. I think I over overspent on the cams. I think I only needed one each. Alright, now we need serpentine belts. Everything seems to be difficult to find. Oh, it's right there. That's A, then where? There B? Doesn't look like it. No, I guess not. Alright, where's that funky timing chain? Right there. Need one of them. I'm pretty sure I only need one of these. Now I need timing cover. release bearing, the drive shaft, and then buy a transmission. Right there. And I think that's pretty much about it. Back to the paint shop. Yeah, see I did the outside like this. With the stone on the bottom. The 
sharp matches, my dyno matches, and even the car wash matches. I think we're going to be getting another update here because, like, over the just before Christmas, all you know, all this stuff popped up, and this is what it looked like before. You do the dyno, all that over there. This is what it looks like with all these with all these crates and stuff. I'm curious to know what they'd be wanting to put in next. <coughs> All right, red block. Now let's see, red or gold. Gold. Oh. I should have did these black. Okay. There's my chrome custom. But I think the black ones look better on it. Just my personal preference. Other people may think not, but just because like when you do it with the red, you know you got a light red and a dark red. Versus with the black it's all one color. Same with the gold. You know you got gold on the end and then Got kind of something that looks like mustard, so that's why I prefer just the solid black. That actually looks nice, but it doesn't go with the color I'm doing. The white, me. Eh. That was uh, a viper, that yellow. Again, looks like mustard. Not as much, but. is red, the head is gold, I don't believe I can paint the intake, not the upper anyway, the lower, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll do fuel rails gold, and then I'll do the lower intake red because like I said I don't believe I can paint this yeah I don't understand why it's even in here even new rings don't change color boggles my mind but it is what it is let's see Red block, yeah, that'll be all right. That'll work. Little pan. The gold cross members red. Now then, it's not all just solid red when you look at it. Oh yeah. What power steering pump do I need? I'll be back to the shop at that point. Glad that they changed the butterfly inside so it actually matches the color of whatever it is that you're trying to paint. Um, yeah, we'll go gold actually. It'll be hanging out above the valve cover. Let's see. This will be the one that'll be up against the blah. No, it won't be. 
holy, shiny red. Actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this one gold. Then the other two we're gonna do, or the other three we're gonna do red. I like that gold. Looks nice. But since the heads are gold, I don't want to put too much gold up there. Actually, timing cover D. We're going to do this one gold too. Shit, can I do the water pump? No. Alright, now I know I'm probably missing something, so let's go see what I'm missing. To the engine room. What was it again? Oh. I'll be okay tomorrow. try to start my engines on the engine stand upside down. Makes it easier to put the crank and everything in. Wait, what are you? You know what? We're going to leave this one chrome. Only because I just don't want to back, run back to the paint shop. Alright. Oh. I only needed two. That's a little motor. And when I put the pistons in, I always try to start at the back of the block, work my way forward. And then, when I put the rod caps on, I start at the front, work my way back. That way then I'm at the back side of the motor to put the oil pan on and the clutch assembly. But because this motor needs the timing covers put on first, I'll just do the clutch pack. The flywheel pressure plate, plate and the throw bearing. I may as well add the fuel filter since we're upside down. Alright. So in the head time. Plugs in. Ah yes, I do need one more of each. Got the cam caps on. Hey, I think I got enough of them. Perfect. Only bought eight. Four per side makes eight. cover on. It's kind of weird. I wish you could paint the coils. You can do the fat, like the stock coils, but you can't paint the aftermarket ones. Now the ones for the LS style motor, or the CGM motor is what they call it in this. Them ones you can paint. Many other coils you can paint. But those ones you can't. Again, 
second while I quickly go through my parts list. Oh, catalog, I guess you could say. Oh, skip this tab. I always get that backwards. I always buy two camshaft A's and two camshaft B's for this motor. I only buy one of each rocker arm. And this isn't the first time I built this car. Or these motors. These ones are old. A lot of black on the top side of the motor. <coughs> and you can put on engine cover A, but there's another section that goes right here, engine cover B. And don't put it on, I recommend, until after you fill it with oil. You gotta take it off anyway to fill it with oil. Ooh, that looks sharp. Hey, I never bought no timing chains. Only bought the one. I need these. There they are. Two of them. Put on my aftermarket alternator. Should be able to start uh, timing chain. I gotta put the. Oh, it is only one of each. Okay. Ooh, that's sharp and shiny. A million and a half bolts later. Maybe I should have did red. Huh. A lot of gold in this motor. A lot more than I thought there was going to be. Uh oh. filter red. That's what we're going to do. Oh, missed it. Alright, so you go red. And now the oil filter. Actually, get it to work. There we go. Back to the engine build. Heart mount. The belt tensioner. Huh. Different color. 
Ah, crud. There. Motor's built. Perfect. To the car we go. Ah, oh, gotta put the cherry picker back. It'd be nice if it stayed there when you went and brought them over. I gotta take the brace off. 100%. 150 grand. Not bad. Alright. Now, what I do now is I put all the fluids in. Then I lift the car up. Add the transmission, drive shaft, starter. Then I'll bring it over to give it a wheel alignment, align the headlights, and because I haven't built one in a while, I'm actually going to put it on the dyno this time, see what kind of power we're making, probably about maybe 550, maybe a little bit less than that. And some people, and I don't understand why, I've caught a few videos where people have done this, there's a max line on here. You only need to fill it to that line. See? Right there. Got a little bit of a gap in between. And same with this too. If you look, I believe it's on this side. I can't really see it. But this line right here is actually the max line. And then on this, there's also another line too. Now we go over here and put some oil in it. This, as soon as it starts splashing out, the dipstick will be full. And it is right in the front. I mean, as soon as it starts splashing out, boom, max. That's what we want. Thank God we ain't got to clean nothing up, because it would be one heck of a mess. And same with this too. It's actually a max line right here. So you don't need to have this one so it's doing what the oil does. I don't know. leave that up because I gotta put the cover on which actually I don't have I gotta go buy it but first we're gonna put the transmission in find where the starter goes and I need to buy one so since we're buying stuff let's look for the cover which One, two, and stutter. That was a V8, right? Yeah. And let's buy a couple of these. <laughs> Did it again. Drive shaft, time for it to be put in place. And what we're going to do is actually make it a little easier. I'm going to put the car over here. Let's look at it for a minute. Ain't that pretty? Told you, streamlined butterfly. It's already red, but that sucks. I already have it? Huh. 
Well, I ain't got something. What I got two of them? I, I have two of them because I bought two of them each. There. Now she's finished. Body is 91 because I don't have any license plates on it yet. 161,000. Five hundred dollars. Let's see, are you gonna run? Yeah. Prefer a turbo engine. Alright, zero all of you out. Some people looks like they struggle when they do these too. Line her up. In the bottom left corner you'll see check green check mark that says aligned. Good to go. Yeah. Yeah, let's go to the dino. What's this car supposed to make? 384. It's 73. Oh, she's a screamer. Took a minute to start up, that's for sure. Say 694? Huh. That's impressive actually. Now, what's the tune on it? Oh, 3%. Let's see if we can get a little bit higher. For 6. Ooh, 9. It's not bad. It's the highest I've gotten for a tune on there yet. Let's see what we got one, one last time. It's 694. Let's see if we can make 700. Should be able to. Seven hundred and thirty-three at seventy-five hundred fifty-five horse or RPM, five hundred forty-two foot-pounds of torque. Not bad. I mean, it's a little car. It's not very heavy. It's well, a ton and a half. Mm, not bad. Now, right now, the car is valued at one sixty-one five hundred. This boggles my mind. Yeah, we're in Arizona, we'll put some Arizona plates on it. Which, what did these plates cost me? 170 bucks. Pump it up 13,000. My profit now is what? the car was going to sell for. So, yeah. I think I put about 50 grand into it. So my profit margin is a little bit lower than that, but it is what it is. Alright. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hope we'll see you on the next one. Bye.